Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before I knew I what is going on guys i got poker here with another video for you today and today we're going to be playing another part of the persona 4 golden series this is a blind playthrough and i'm not going to go through this again no no this is a blind playthrough so let's go ahead and get right into the game i haven't played this game in a little bit a couple couple weeks really and uh but yeah I'm very excited to see how it goes i only use one save data come on interested to see how this game ends up yeah, like going through everything that it needs to go through oh it was good well. hmm this answer is hard you should leave her alone all right cool 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 uh, what about leaving can i leave it's raining through the night again you should go back to your room and check the tv all right fine if that is what you so choose to tell me Kids. You should check the midnight. Uh, yeah, yeah, just check it for now, bro. I like how there was a prison cooking their legs, bro. It's raining tonight. Yeah, well, yeah you've said that so many times, bro. Is that Persona 3 calendar on your wall? something up here on the TV. <laughs> I don't know, but your curtains have words on it, bro. That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Channel just now. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't... I, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Hey, did you see that? Yeah, where'd you get that jacket, bro? That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? Uh, maybe. The place you guys go to looks like a low-budget TV show. What's going on? I don't know. Uh, try to contact Yukiko or try to contact Chia. You're right. Let's get her to contact Yukiko-san. Yeah. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. All right. I mean, maybe right now, honestly. Right now might be a good idea too. You look weird outside of your school clothes. Oh, good morning. You're up early today, or where's your father? Uh, probably at work, so I'm gonna say what, you're up early. He woke up early, so I woke up with him. Ah, uh, okay. He said he's gonna be late. Woke up early, gonna be late. Yeah. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with the office. Are today. you going somewhere? Uh, I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh... Weren't you going somewhere? Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, Nanako. Sorry for the holdup. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. I swear to God, if you show me some dumbass shit, Yosuke. Take a look at these. All right, those aren't fucking dumbass things, but like at the same time, you're openly brandishing swords here. We've got our personas, <laughs> but person a golf club's not that person. reliable of a weapon. I'm sorry for talking over the the voice acting, but <laughs> the person in the back is looking. <laughs> so, which one strikes your fancy? 
I'll take the 2H, bro. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. Ah, uh, yes. Stop trying to sell me swords and give me it. <laughs> the blade's fake, though. Fucking whack. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kind of like this? Don't, don't, don't do that. Or like this? What about this? Yeah, that's cool and all, but you look like a weirdo. Two suspicious young males found. One armed with multiple weapons. Requesting immediate backup. Are you kidding? <laughs> huh? Oh, crap. I mean... No, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. It, oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. I mean, you could listen to it right now, but okay. Yeah. Hands where I can see them, too! I said now! But, but, this isn't... Are your hands stuck on the weapons, bro? Just put them down on the table. Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You know, I would say that that voice shake by the officer is fake as hell. But at the same time, a lot of officers are pussies. Suspects for what, bro? You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. Eh, well, it wasn't really me, but... You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. I didn't even get, like, they didn't even tell me, like, hey, you've obtained this weapon. <laughs> Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Uh, Seems like it. Shit. That she's just a high schooler, you know? Could be that she decided to run away from home. Ah, fucking hell, guys. Come on. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. We gotta hurry the Junas right now, bro. Come on. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Okay, come on. We Since it go. was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? I hear in any way suspecting Yukiko, that's just... A false accusation at the fucking most, you know? Asinine at the very least. By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. 
You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Oh, it's in his hand. Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Come on, let's go. Call those civvies. Hey, <laughs> of all does things. that detective think that Yukiko-san? I'll hate you. Jeez, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere! Oh, uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with you. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. So I'll calm down. Look, we need to save her. Yeah, we need to save her. <laughs> right. right! That's the important thing! With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to. Right. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be alright? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Holy shit, this girl has a bunch of weapons at home, probably. Come on, follow me! Either that, or she knows a place where to find weapons. She knows a place where to find weapons. Here we are! What kind of shop is this? Uh, metal works, I guess? Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Kung Fu. Oh, I get it. You watch one too many Kung Fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Psh, I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Right. Listen. I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. But man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. 5,000 yen. Let's go. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? Well, give me the menu. You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. All right. Now give me the menu. Them to see my art, please look around. Take your time. All right, there we 
go. Make me see his ugly face again, please. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> Unfriendly looking girl. Okay. Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. This girl seems unfriendly. Well, I mean, if that wasn't noticeable already, I guess it is now. She feel like she feel like you've met her somewhere before. I mean, yeah, it's pretty obvious, but okay. Huh? Oh, maybe that'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice and forgive her for her impoliteness. I mean, I don't really care, so I mean, whatever, bro. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. 
please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. I don't like these people whatsoever. Okay. stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to... I'm going! Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? Let's go. from last time what are you doing can't you tell I'm thinking about stuff with that empty head of yours I've been deliberating over it for a long time now I fucking hate you so much dude you have no idea how much hate I have for you in my heart hey that wasn't a bad joke <laughs> uh, it was very much a bad joke so did you figure anything out uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. Yeah. How rude! No you. You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I, I don't know. I haven't looked. Why haven't you looked? The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. Oh, God. What the? A castle? You think this is the place they showed on TV last time? You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? Almost. I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? 
Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Expand your vocabulary, please. It is annoying dealing with you. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder... Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story... I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So... Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all! Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead! Hey, wait, don't go alone! Jeez, we better follow her. Ah, damn it, man. That's fine, she is. Alright. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the episode here, guys. And, uh, man, this freaking music is bopping. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. If you guys don't know, I stream on Twitch. Feel free to follow that link in the description below and shoot me a follow over there. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe here on YouTube. And, yeah, until next time, guys. I'll see you later.